So I made a video around a month ago on this guy called Connor who was very upset at something. If you didn't see that video, let me get you up to speed real quick. Connor used to be part of a TikTok comedy group called Four Brothers, which is pretty successful. However, a few months ago, he decided to ditch that in favor of starting his solo career, making gym and nutrition videos and stuff like that. And I suspect that didn't go as successfully as he initially thought it would. So he started posting some strange videos, one of which was him sat in his car outside of Curry's, very upset because um, he saw some pride flags hung up. And now I think no matter what your beliefs are, you could be the most homophobic person to walk the earth. I think we could all agree that making a video upsetting your car because you saw a few colourful flags is just sad case behaviour. I made a video about that because I found it quite funny, the effect a simple harmless flag can have on a, on a big strong gym lad like Connor. And he's now responded to me. Um, it's not good. This might actually be one of the most bone idle responses to a video of mine I have ever seen in my near decade of doing this full time. Let's get on to the last one. On Memulus. Now again, don't know who he is. Yeah, all right, mate, of course. Only know about him because of the comments that I read about how he made a video reacting to my content. But looking at his account now, that's his whole shtick. He gets people who are more relevant than him to get in the title, to get in the thumbnails to get views because he isn't relevant. Mate, come on, have some self-awareness. I'm fully aware I am not the most relevant man in the world, but I'm happy and grateful for what I have. As long as I'm able to afford to live and pay for my stuff, I'm blessed. That's brilliant. I get to make YouTube videos for a living. That's the dream. That's incredible. Like, I don't really care too much about being massively relevant, you know? That being said, when you're not being a gimp and crying in your car about things that ultimately don't matter, you get like 20k views on a TikTok. Like, there's no shame in that, but just don't go around calling people irrelevant. I mean, no one actually cares when you're doing the thing you say you want to do. The only time people pay attention to you are when you're being pathetic. This is truly pathetic, says the guy who wears a balaclava in his videos. Now, again, I don't know his age, but to sit down before you start making a video and to put your balaclava on and, you know, your glasses on and start making videos is a bit pathetic, man. I can't like Why? It. Please elaborate on that. I love how that's always the first thing people go for when responding to me. Like, yes, I have no interest in being, like, a recognisable person. Cool, man. Good one. And another thing as well, if you're going to disagree with someone, that's, that's cool. At least show your face. At least, you know, own it. Like, it comes across as quite cowardly. This is another point I never get. Like, what are you going to do? Beat me up in the street because I made a video about you? Is that what's going to happen? Of course not. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, but you never say the stuff you say to his face. Yes, I would. <laughs> I would. Because realistically, what's going to happen? Nothing. People like to make it out as if I'm scared of people coming in, like, beating me up or something. Like, that's never happened to anybody over making a YouTube video. I have nothing to hide from. I just hate the idea of being recognized. I don't want to walk outside and have people looking at me when I'm just going about my day. And also, it's a thing to do with separation. I like to keep my real life separate from this because I just think it's more healthy that way. It's great publicity though, isn't it? The fact we've rattled someone with four and a half million subs. Who's we? Was there someone sat next to you in that car in floods of tears? Or are you referring to your fans, of which you have none? Who's we, Connor? He's now tried to go off and form his own thing, which is making fitness videos. Another fan. He clearly watches the channel then. Big up Mimulus. Looks like you aren't taking much action from it there. You want to get in the gym yourself, mate. Start working out. Connor, like, we are, like, in the same sort of shape. What are you talking about? <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? I mean, and I'm not the one that has a fitness channel. We are in the same shape, my brother. I'm not going to take off my shirt because that would be really weird. We are like in, in basically the same shape. You don't have to take any notice of it. it you can't not. You can't not take notice when it's fucking everywhere you go. This is in reference to the pride flags in curries. And I mean, yeah, you kind of can. I don't take notice of most of the things around me, you know? Like, I'm not taking in every single little thing around me. You just, just don't, don't, just ignore it. It's really not difficult. If it upsets you for whatever reason, just ignore it. Like, like, there's no reason to sort of look at it, get angry, then go to your car and make an angry video about it. In Qatar, that was big. Yeah, because people get imprisoned and it's technically legal to be executed for being gay over there. Like, do you not think there should be some kind of protest or show of disdain for their treatment? No, absolutely not. Oh my god. And I think that's the problem with England and America. We go over to these different countries trying to push our opinions and the way we see the world onto every other country. This guy is so thick, I don't even think he's realised that he basically just said that there's nothing wrong with a country if they decide to imprison or execute people for being gay. I am not twisting what he's saying at all. When I said, do you not think there should be some kind of protest for people being imprisoned and potentially executed for being gay, he went, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Do you have rocks for brains? I get you're maybe trying to do this rage bait, all publicity is good publicity thing, but basically saying it's okay 
for people to be potentially killed for being gay is totally fine and nobody should say a word about it is in no way, shape or form a good career move, man. Like, this is crazy. You're a crazy person or you're just maybe terminally stupid. And the funny thing is, he consistently claims to have nothing against gay people. If you listen to the video, I said I have no problem with your sexuality. I mean, you clearly do if you're saying stuff like this. And he says this whole thing about England and America going over and trying to push their own agendas and beliefs onto people. And I agree with that somewhat. Like, that does happen. But this is certainly not an instance that's applicable. The basic human right to live isn't pushing a crazy opinion onto another country. Like, we have any place to stand when it comes to how a country should be run. For example, the World Cup, when we go over and there's flags, everyone's drinking beer, and we're going over disrespecting their culture, they have every right to be like, that's not how we run things. Yeah, you're absolutely right. To see people representing the country in that way is frankly embarrassing. It's just, how is this relevant to this? He's gonna to attempt to gain relevancy off this. It's like, if I wanted to be relevant, I would've just stayed with Four Brothers. Golf accounts popping off. If I wanted relevancy, I would've just stayed there. If you're actually smart, you would realize that it's not all about relevancy. But I know you're a YouTuber and you've done it your whole life. So everything's about clicks, views, impressions, subscribers, and that's all you think about. I mean, it really isn't. You're the one that made relevancy a big deal at the beginning of this. Why are you making out as if like I said that? As if I'm making a big deal out of this. Some cheap attention because you're scared of no one knowing who you are. You're terrified. You had a taste of the high life with four brothers. brothers I think you are, mate. You've got four and a half million subs and you react to someone with 12.9 thousand followers. Yeah, because you made something video worthy. What, what is this point? I don't understand what he's getting at here. And by the way, I stand by what I said. You are clearly desperate for relevancy. Gagging. SpongeBob in Sandy's house desperate. Bonded back and it- Oh, reacting to another video? Fucking hell. Is he part of the community as well? I don't- George his name, isn't it? My other channel, George. I wouldn't be surprised to get so upset. For the record, I'm not, but you can tell he kind of said that as a dig. Like, oh yeah, I bet you're gay. Are you 12 years old? I'm obviously not upset. You're just such a loser, it's entertaining. Like, no one is taking any notice of what you have to say, Connor. I'm gonna be so real. What the fuck does this have to do with Pride Month or whatever? Absolutely nothing! It wasn't something that, I don't know, Rishi Sunak just made up to- No, but the government got involved. 99, Bill Clinton declared June as Gay and Lesbian Month. 2011, Barack Obama expanded the official recognized program to include the whole of LGBT. It's more than just people. When the government gets involved, you know there's an agenda behind it. Oh yeah, Connor, then what's it for? Come on, use that brain cell, Connor, use it! They're obviously up to no good for celebrating Pride Month. They have to be. It's the government. They would never do anything purely for the benefit of the people or just anything to be, like, nice. I've given you a video that's popped off, so you're welcome. I really hate this comment. He's talking as if he gifted Did this guy a banger video. I did. Of how relevant he is. In the nicest way possible, Connor, you are brutally irrelevant. Which is really? Is that what you made a video about me? Connor, I don't know if this is your first day on the internet, but you don't have to be relevant for someone to talk about you. Your video was comedically stupid, so I made a video about it because I found it quite funny. It didn't even do very well. It's one of my worst performing videos recently. You're giving yourself a lot more credit than Stu. Is that why you made a whole YouTube 13 minute video about me? Because I'm brutally irrelevant. Well, again, that wasn't the point of the video, but okay. Mate, just say it how it is. You're reacting to me because you know it do well. Yeah, all hail Connor, bringer of views. If you want to bang a video, just talk about this chat. Just own it, just say it how it is. Hey, this is what I mean about speaking the truth. You're lying. I don't know what you're lying for. We all know the game. Oh, here we go. Some more Connor conspiracy theories. What am I lying about, Connor? What am I lying about here? Now, listen, Connor, you claim to not care about relevancy, but you latched onto that right at the beginning of the video. And it seems to be your main point throughout this whole response video, when ultimately it does not matter. The fact is you really, really, really care about being relevant. And you're just trying, you're trying to parry it off, but everyone can see it. It's so transparent. You claim to be making these videos out of the good of your heart to express your opinions for those that are afraid to express the same, but that's not what this is, is it, Connor? You're just desperate for attention. I think the emphasis, especially the TikTok generation puts on being relevant and constantly in the spotlight is fucking stupid. Your worth as a TikTok person. generation, that has always been around. I think YouTube started that. YouTube is wanting to be relevant. Don't play this higher ground of TikTokers. We talk about relevancy and you know, us YouTubers don't talk about relevancy. And we don't, we don't, we don't play that game. You're clearly misunderstanding. And to be fair, I don't blame him. If I had the listening comprehension of a year one, I'd totally misunderstand I said there. What I said there, Connor, and I'm going to speak very, very slowly so you understand. Now that TikTok is a thing, 
there's a lot more emphasis. Do you know that word? Emphasis on relevancy. I never said that didn't apply to me or YouTubers because obviously that's the aim of the game to have some form of relevancy. Even small or niche so you can make a living off doing this. What I was saying here, however, is there's more emphasis on it now than ever before. You see a YouTuber or a TikTok fade out of the public eye a little and there's a TikTok with them in. All the comments are like, oh, this guy fell off, bro fell off, da 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 da. And it, it, it can be quite funny, but that's what I'm getting at. You didn't get that like five years ago on YouTube. And this isn't me moral grandstanding, whatever you mean by that. Like, I'm pretty sure the term moral grandstanding doesn't apply to this because I'm not flexing my morals or whatever. I'm not saying YouTubers are better people than TikTokers or whatever. All I'm saying is that as a result of TikTok and like fast dopamine, there's a bigger emphasis on relevancy now than ever. And a lot of people seem to base people's value on that. And you can't say it isn't true because it is. Like, that's just how things are at the moment. You're playing the game right now. You're literally responding to me, calling me truly pathetic because that video has popped off. You're reacting to it to get in the limelight. Mate, there are 1,000 other video ideas that would have got me more views. You're still very clearly clinging on to this. Oh, I'm, I'm still relevant. You're making videos about me, so I must be relevant. You're not relevant. I'm not particularly relevant, and that's fine. You do not need to cry about it, Connor. But anyway, on my video that I made like a month ago, I got some comments, and I found them quite funny that these came from actual people and not bots. There was a little bit of a split response, and by that I mean like 90% positive, 10% negative. But some of the negative ones, oh my god, they are, they are howlers. Connor is a man and Mimulus is still playing video games. What on, <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you even mean by that? Doing the monthly please don't cancel me simping I see. I don't even, like, the, uh, in my video I was basically like, if you get upset at the sight of a pride flag, that is quite sad. And I don't mind gay people. Yeah, that's me going, oh yeah, please don't cancel me guys, please don't cancel me. Yeah, of course. Oh, this is my favourite. This is an L for me, Mulus. Bro, sorry. He's sold to the elites. Who have I sold my soul to? Come on, come on. Let's get our tinfoil hats on. Let's let's figure this out together. Who have I sold my soul to? Come on, take your meds. Mimulus turns us out to be infected with the woke mind virus. Damn, what a shame. Disappointed, unsub. These are opinions I have expressed since the beginning of my YouTube career. And there are a lot of comments being like, woke mind virus, oh, Mimulus has gone woke. These are things that I have been saying for years. And in my opinion, it's not like an incredibly woke thing to go, oh yeah, I don't mind gay people. Like it's fine if someone's gay. Like that, how, how in what world is that woke? Am I woke because I don't break down in tears at the sight of a colorful flag? Okay, then like and subscribe or I'll put a very scary rainbow flag outside your house.